me driving to work. We got boulders rolling around. I feel like we've been in this damn scene a million times. We have. <laughs> we're uh, we're stuck in. Ugh! Fuck. Hey, you got it, dude. You landed I mean, on the rail. Cool. Watching you play this game is like in Groundhog Day, in Groundhog Day when he finally like is kind of getting annoyed and used to everything. Like it's becoming more of an annoyance than like a shock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, after this, we never have to play Sonic again. Whew. Ever? Never. At least uh, not Sonic 06. I'd actually like to do a second Let's Play of it. <laughs> a speed run. I don't even think it's possible to speed run this game. It, 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 I feel like it would be hell to speed run this game with all the loading screens and then just the fucking. What the fuck? Just the same shit over and over and over and over. Can I. Can I, uh. Bruh. Bruh. Okay. Maybe I. How, how close are we to the end of Shadow Story? Mm, uh, we're not, not even halfway, I doubt. I like oh, God. We're almost halfway. No. After this one, we'd be halfway. That's yeah. the way the cookie crumbles, baby. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Name the movie. Oh, Bruce Almighty. Yes, sir. I don't know why I was going to say Happy Gilmore. That sounds like a Happy Gilmore line. You know? Grandma! <laughs> I saw my friend put on a story the other day. He was at the basketball court, and Adam Sandler was just down there playing. Really? Just, yeah, and his fucking... Here? Yeah, in Santa Monica. Adam Sandler loves playing b some b-ball. He just goes and plays it with random dudes, and and it's no paparazzi or anything. He just goes out there in his baggy gym shorts and his oversized t-shirt and just plays ball. I wish I could meet fucking Adam Sandler. That'd be sick. You could. Just, just play some Chris basketball. Hemsworth. Yeah, I should just ask Chris. Chris will link you up. You got it, dude. You have the opportunity, if you play this right, Justin, to make a cameo in the next Thor movie as a little kind of like wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Well, what do I do next? How do I how do I play the cards right? Okay, what's what you gotta do? You gotta post uh, an erection photo. What the freaking fuck? I hate this fucking game. Ooh. What happened? Looks like you fell in the lava. <laughs> yeah, you got that little mischievous grin on his face. I'm just smiling at my buddy. He smiled at me, so I I thought it was only polite to return the favor. <laughs> All right, let's see it, Justin. One. Ooh. I, I, you got one more shot at it, buddy. I don't get it. Uno I mas. don't get it. I actually don't know how to do that differently. Because I'm, it, I'm supposed to attack, like, homing attack. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, put your put your hand on Justin's thigh don't, with me. Don't. No, it, it's... <laughs> don't, we're don't, channeling the power of friendship. It'll work. We're channeling the power of friendship. <laughs> okay. it, it'll work. Oh, you almost had it. <clears throat> I didn't even. I, I, I don't. Honestly, think, I don't think you truly believe. It's because you shut us out. Because I shut you out. Yeah, you, we weren't able to channel our full friendship powers into you. You shut us out, man. God damn. What are you doing, Ryan? What are you doing over there? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Jesus. Ryan, the thing about what you just did. Is even though not visible, you sprayed fecal particles all over me and get used to it too. We didn't even explain what he just did. He came over, pulled his pants, took down. his jacket That's not what off. I did first. Okay, thank you. Man. Took his jacket, took your off, jacket off, turned around, pulled his pants down, spread, spread his ass, spread his ass, ass, bent over, bent and then over just and fucking then farted, just farted, a, like a foot and a half away from my face. <laughs> And you pushed that one too. Dude, you, you sprayed fecal matter all over me. Tiny little bits that we can't even see. And I'll do it again. Good God, man. I honestly wasn't, I don't know what I expected, but I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. I thought you were just going to show us your asshole as, yeah. a, as a gaff. Maybe you should start expecting the unexpected, Matt. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, because, I mean, I mean, I feel like I, I know you pretty well. And I don't know why I didn't think you were going to fart. I, I thought you were just going to show me that little pink donut, but nope. <laughs> you just fucking... Justin and I fucking... That was, that was, that was like... 
like in a movie when characters see another character get like brutally killed and they're like, <laughs> ah! and they like jump back out of out of. It's like that scene in Breaking Bad when the dude gets fucking his neck slashed with the box cutter. <laughs> That's exactly how it felt. In the episode titled Box Cutter. Is it actually what it's called? Season box four, cutter? episode one. Yep. Why'd they call it that? Probably for the reason you just uh, explained. Box, about the box cutter. Oh, when he gets his neck slashed with the yes, box cutter? Yes, exactly. Oh, Precisely, okay. Justin. Okay. Hey, hey, Justin! I had to completely cheat it and not even, like, do what it wanted me to do, but I made it. I'm proud of you, too, buddy. Thanks. I'm big uh, proud of you. Dude, I still haven't gotten my key to the city frame. Why? Fuck. Still? Yeah. It's just sitting at the frame place. Michaels is having some kind of holdup, I guess. Yeah. Some kind of internal battle. They're fighting demons. There's some political infighting going on with the higher ups at Michael's regarding Justin's uh, key to the city being framed. <laughs> yeah, let me get uh, let me get Michael on the phone. Let me talk about this. Mr. Michael himself is. <laughs> Mr. He's, he's Michael. slowing down the process. He's jealous. He is jealous. He's like, I don't have a key to the city. I have a multi-million dollar corporation, but they didn't give me a key to the city. And this. This this little Armenian fuck just walks into the city and gets gets a whole key. Why do you call me? <laughs> Yay, I'm back on the funny plane. There you go. Funny plane time, baby. Dude, all aboard the funny plane. Air Force funny. You know? Gotta be like. What? Nothing. <laughs> what was that, dude? Dude, how is this stuff just floating in the air? I don't understand. Uh, it's not making any sense to me, and it's hurting my brain, well, and clearly it's upsetting there's, me. There's a cyclone right there. It's a there baked potato right cut in half. Fuck. Ooh, ooh. Nice. You just made it, man. There's clearly a cyclone that we're flying through that's sucking. I flew through that one up, dude. There you go. Not that one, though. Yeah, you Whoa. had another You had another chance at what victory. What do I do? Dude, Justin, if anyone's got this, Justin Butlag has this. George Lopez does. He's mm. always got this. I don't, I'm not sure we can trust George Lopez. Nope. He doesn't got this. Angie! Angie! And we can't trust him, man. It's a piece of shit, man. You know that. George is a coward. He's a fool. He is... He's a daft fool. He's a daft punk, if you ask me. Mm, George Lopez? Mm-hmm. Daft? Very daft. No. Now, he, George Lopez might be many, many things, but daft surely can't be one of them, Matt. You'd be surprised, Ryan. You should hear what he said about you. Ooh. Oh god. Do I just drive off the edge? I, I guess not. <laughs> what did it want you to do? I don't know. Life comes at you fast, man. The game teaches you valuable lessons. You know, it's not all about beating the level. You know, it's got life lessons packed in here. You guys ever seen Ferris Bueller? Yep. Uh, yeah, I've seen his day off. It's a good movie. It is. In Chicago, they have the Save Ferris uh, signs everywhere still. Really? Uh huh. It's pretty epic. Not gonna lie. It's kind of funny. Like two years after that movie came out, uh, the guy that played Ferris killed yeah. someone in like a car accident. He did. It's completely his he fault. Give him some respect. Mr. Broderick deserves to have his name known. When he killed that person when he was driving. He was in Godzilla, Justin. Was he? And Inspector Gadget. Yeah. He People. They made an Inspector Gadget movie? What? what? Yeah, dude. Yeah. He played Inspector Gadget. And they made Gadget. Inspector Gadget 2, although he did not play Inspector Gadget in Inspector Gadget 2. He was Inspector Gadget. He was. He went up against Dr. Claw. Dr. Claw was Penny badass. Was there. Dude, Dr. Claw's fucking... When I was a kid, I thought that was so cool, the way his hand was a claw like that. <laughs> and it could, like, rotate, like... <laughs> fucking sick, dude. Was, uh, was the movie any good? I'm when sure I was a kid, I loved it. Yeah, exactly. I, I doubt that it was actually good, though. Oh, Matthew sucks. Broderick hasn't been in many good movies. Go, go, Gadget Toothpaste! I mean, squirts toothpaste everywhere. I hate this game so much. Justin, you thought I was feeling you? Nope, Chuck Testa. <laughs> <laughs> it's the meme mashup of the century. <laughs> Justin loves those meme mashups. Uh, nope, Chuck Testa. Nope, Chuck Testa. Let's get some, let's get some Testa heads in the chat. There's some fucking Testa heads out here. Yo, real testicles stand up. <laughs> oh my god. That was sharp, Justin. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I said I'll, thank you. I'll never laugh again. We don't need again. to talk back. Talk back? 
<laughs> well, I'm not a child. Okay, Joseph. I mean, you're the youngest one at the office. What does that mean? It means... I'm a child? Technically speaking, compared to all of us, you're more like a child than anyone else here at the office. I just I just choose to see life through a, a childlike sense of wonder. You might wonder wrong with that. I've yeah. never lost my childlike innocence. No, that happened with Michael Jackson. You saw what happened with him. I don't like this bit anymore. I don't either. <laughs> I think it's a very serious Shut subject. Shut up, man. I mean, it is a very serious subject, Justin. You should probably stop hanging out with those kids and having sleepovers and giving them milk and cookies. You're an asshole. Okay. Being an asshole. Now, Justin, right, Justin, Justin that, that I don't think that takes away from the listen, fact that you should still stop I, and sleepovers. And I understand that you're giving them the bed and you're sleeping on a sleeping bag in the floor. That doesn't make it any better or any more right. And maybe, you know, it's innocent, but it's still just, it, it's unbecoming. Unbecoming of a YouTuber. I just don't see the problem with it if I'm in a sleeping bag on the floor. <laughs> Grab your pixie stick. <laughs> Grab your spanks, your spank, your spanks stick. I didn't see stick. I, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Robot. Okay. Well, you tried. That's spank really, stack. That's okay. What's he doing here? Spank stack. Robot. It's like a smoke stack. Robot. Is that Rob? Five thousand. He's got the Omega symbol on him. Beep, 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 beep. See, he's hacking into his mainframe right now. Just he's are you pressing to plays this robot. It I think so. No. Mode. What could have possibly Shit. happened to They really did. One of the previous Sonic games we played, they removed her cleavage. Mm-hmm. But in this one... Mm-hmm. That one came out... Wait, no, we did play them in order. Understood. Unless... There in a minute. Wait, which one did they remove the cleavage in? It looks like Sonic and his friends... Uh, I think Adventure. Or Heroes. No, Heroes did it, yeah. Oh, but they brought the boobs back, baby. Good. Yeah. Just what Justin needs. Invigorates him to continue and finish this this complex, beautiful story. They nourish me. Justin's like a soldier in World War II who's just been shot and he's laying in the trenches and he takes his helmet off and inside he's got a he's got a, a Polaroid photo and, and and it's of Roost the Bat's cleavage and he pulls it out and as as he's his hands are shaking he's he's bleeding so out and he's holding the photo looking yeah. at it with tears in his eyes. L Polaroids didn't exist in the forties. <laughs> okay, you know what I meant, Justin. <laughs> what is Lawrence of Arabia? A movie. I thought it was a book. Oh, wait, is it a book or a movie? It's both. Okay. I what? thought it was this big epic movie. Is the guy's name actually Lawrence? Yeah, it's a classic Middle Eastern name. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it's traditional, yeah. Lawrence? It's in the Bible. Ain't no way. It was one of the disciples, dude. <laughs> Mark, Paul, John, Peter, Lawrence. They had a disciple named Paul, dude. No, dude, the funny thing is it's like <laughs> Lawrence isn't that far Paul. off because they, they just gave them like the whitest names. Matthew, Paul. Well, Matthew is Hebrew. Well, you but know, like Paul, Peter, John, Luke. You know, they're white because they were originally Middle Eastern and they just became white because white people like naming their kids after uh, people in the Bible. You know, Justin, if you change your name to Mark, super mega employees, we'd have Mark, Luke. Matthew, Luke, and John. And Jim. And Jim. The deceitful disciple of Jesus. Would you guys finally love me if I did that? Would I finally have your approval? I love you already, Justin. Justin, we already love you, man. But would you love me more if I did that? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. All right. Yay! We're going into the volcano. Do you think it's going to explode? I wish. <laughs> yeah, when pigs fly. Oh, wait. Matt's mom already came out to Los Angeles. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, just, just put me on the back burner for a moment. Okay. All right, just, just, just take me off the front. Okay. Put me on the. Uh, you want? Let, you want me to let you simmer? Let me simmer in the back for a bit. Okay. All right. Well, who else am I gonna make fun of? Well, you were just making fun of his mom. You were making fun of Matt. That's true, but it was kind of at his expense because I was. That's his mom's it. expense. We're a family, Ryan. If someone Baby. talks shit about my mother, they're talking shit about me by extension. If someone fucks your mom, does that mean they fuck you by extension? Yes. He, I mean, he has a whole song about it. So we've had sex? Yes, Justin. I just skipped a whole part of the level, holy shit. Nice. I was supposed to do that. But you did. Dude, I'm such a pro fucking strategizer. You're figuring out all these speedrun tactics. They're not a noob. I want to work for the government so that I can, like, plan our military strategies and shit. 
You're pretty good. I at wouldn't. It. I. I honestly would not feel safer. There's no possible way I could feel safer unless you were in charge. Of that. Could you imagine me in like the fucking Oval Office, Mr. President? We need to mobilize the tanks. Okay. <laughs> he said. <laughs> he said mobilize the tanks. Where? Yeah, I don't know. He just said mobilize them. Uh, get on it. Just T drops them in a field in Ohio. Turn them on. Uh, just in the Oval Office, he's got his uniform with like the fucking rows of badges, colorful little pins. Wearing like a suit three times the size that he needs. <laughs> He's got the That's little like- That's just me in any suit. Ooh. Uh oh, I can't see shit. You should get some of those Shaq suits, Justin. I'm wearing one right now. You actually are. I'm- I, I, I am I, wearing- it, Yeah, I was gonna like, play into the bit, but I can't even because you're like, actually wearing a Shaq suit. I, I don't know why we have it. I guess it was a jacket for a video, but it's a Shaquille O'Neal brand suit jacket and oh, it's- what was it? It's like oh, three it times was, uh, too big for me. It was for the CEO video you guys did with Hunter. Oh, yeah. Uh, was this for Hunter, I'm guessing? This, no. This is a big jacket. That's the one that Ryan wore. I wiped my ass with $100. What's the fucking sound he made? He went, ack. It's... It, I, I see why... I, I get why you wipe your ass with $100 bills. They're so abundant for you. But also, I will say, from a san sanitation standpoint, it's not very clean. Why? Thousands of people touch those. What if know? that was the secret? What if that was the secret to getting your ass as clean as possible was using $100 bills? More so than a bidet? Yeah. I don't believe in bidets. Well, we can tell. I hook it up to a gallon of chocolate milk, that's what I do. <laughs> I mean, chocolate milk is thicker than water. So it, it carries more weight when it hits your ass. Exactly. So it probably gets your ass clean, and your ass smells like chocolate milk. And that's a good thing. It's a great thing. What is water? Water is thin. Water smells like nothing. Tastes like nothing. It's just water. It's Does it taste boring. like nothing, or have we conditioned ourselves to believe that water water tastes like water is neutral? Water tastes like nothing. I've Has no taste. Chaos, don't touch you can always taste your mouth. Your brain just cancels it out. You know, think about it. This is uh, a hemorrhoid uh, coming. No, this is not a hemorrhoid. This is a tapeworm coming out of the the lava. Kind of reminds me of a hemorrhoid too. Of a what? Of a hemorrhoid as well. I've never had a hemorrhoid. What's it like? Does it suck? It's like that. It's like a big worm. It's no, a big it's like bump a bump in your ass. It's a big demonic creature that your that your poop slides by and, and and rubs up against, and then it hurts. Ugh. Hunter said that he had hemorrhoids that looked like oysters when we hung. That's out. disgusting. Jesus, that's so gross. Does that? He's not wrong, but that's that's that disgusting. Sense? Yeah, that it looks like an oyster. It's gross. That's <laughs> icky. That's downright icky. He he said he uh, he said he had yeah hemorrhoids that looked like big old oysters. And right on his ass. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.